Year after year, high school football stadiums are becoming more expensive to build and maintain. In 2024, the Socorro Independent School District spent over $50 million on its new stadium. But despite that hefty price tag, that stadium isn't even one of the most expensive in the United States. So what are the top five most expensive high school football stadiums built in the US? Welcome to FOS Explains. Today, we're diving into the world of high school football stadiums and uncover the insane costs behind the most luxurious venues across the nation. They say everything's bigger in Texas, and Allen High School, the state's largest high school, is an example of just how massive and pricey things can get down there. Located in Allen, Texas, AHS unveiled its new stadium just in time for the first game of the 2012 football season. And the venue costs $82.2 million after adjusting for inflation. The school's previous stadium was built in 1976 and originally held 7,000 seats. Back then, the town only had 8,000 residents, but as the Allen community grew to over 80,000, more fans filled the stands and the district resorted to adding 7,000 temporary bleachers every year, costing the school $250,000 a year. With its new venue seating 18,000 people, AHS now has the fifth largest high school stadium in the United States. It also has roughly 8,000 season tickets available each season, a number that consistently sells out. It probably doesn't hurt that the team is typically pretty good, too. The Eagles won back-to-back -back state titles their first two years on the new field. The stadium's design is both modern and majestic, with sweeping lines and expansive spaces that echo the ambition of those who envisioned it. At the center of Eagle Stadium lies its state-of-the-art turf field. The stadium is a hub for other sports, too. It has a state-of-the-art weight room, a dedicated wrestling practice area, and even a specialized golf training facility, ensuring that all of the school's athletes have the tools they need to succeed. It also hosts soccer matches, band competitions, and a bunch of other community events. The stadium was built on approximately 72 acres and features a state-of-the-art press box with three distinct levels. The main level serves as a film deck with space for scouts and athletic staff. The second floor is dedicated to stadium operations and media support. And the third floor is a space for coaches, hospitality, and a judges section for band competitions. The new stadium, with its design featuring six entrances, is a massive improvement from the single gate of the old facility. But even though Eagle Stadium draws an exceptionally large crowd, it's almost nothing compared to their neighbors down the road. Just six miles away from Allen High School, the McKinney ISD Stadium is located in Collin County, situated in McKinney, Texas. The McKinney Independent School District serves over 24,000 students across three high schools. Years before McKinney ISD Stadium was built, there was Ron Poe Stadium. It was a 7,000 seat venue built in 1962 and on the campus of McKinney High School. It was a decent high school stadium that served as the home field for McKinney ISD's athletics for decades. Generations of fans came together under the Friday night lights, high school football games, track meets, and countless community events made Ron Poe Stadium a cornerstone of local life. But if you ever attended an inner city rivalry game at Ron Poe, you would have seen how the stadium struggled to contain all the energy and excitement. The stadium, simply put, wasn't big enough for the crowds these games drew. Extra bleachers were brought in, but even then it wasn't enough. The demand always exceeded what the stadium could offer, and as the years passed, there was a need for something bigger. Fast forward to 2016, and the community came together to cast their votes, approving a bond package that would pave the way for the replacement of the iconic Ron Post Stadium. The proposed stadium, now known as McKinney ISD Stadium, is a more sophisticated one, almost double the size of Ron Poe. When adjusted for inflation, the project's actual cost reached $87.7 million, transforming the stadium into a 12,000 seat facility designed to welcome both home and visiting fans in much higher numbers than before. The facility hosts games for the district's three high schools, but was so nice that college teams started playing games there. It's hosted the Division II College Football National Championship several times, along with a bunch of other events. Architecturally, it's a beautiful modern stadium with a classic design, but if you think this is massive, wait until you see this next stadium.
Back in 2017, Legacy Stadium was the most expensive high school football stadium in the United States. Located in Katy, Texas, right next to the existing Rhodes Stadium, the facility was projected to cost approximately $89.8 million when adjusted for inflation. This massive stadium was designed to hold 12,000 people and serves over 77,000 students from the Katy Independent School District's high schools. It has two concession stands on each side, two large men's and women's bathrooms on each side, and two locker rooms that could be divided into four separate areas for additional space. The project was funded by a $748 million bond approved by voters back in 2014. After two years, groundbreaking for the stadium took place, marking the beginning of construction for what would become one of the largest high school football stadiums in the U.S. With 2,200 more seats than the old road stadium and a multi-purpose area for the athletic department, the new facility was a major upgrade. Without considering inflation, KDISD's Legacy Stadium cost $70 million. That surpassed the $69.9 million cost of McKinney ISD's 12,000 seat stadium and Allen High School's $60 million 18,000 seat stadium. But there's still two more stadiums that cost even more. Located in the middle of Cypress, Texas, the Sci Fair FCU Stadium is the Lone Star State's most expensive high school football venue. Construction for the entire venue cost $80 million back in 2006. That translates to $124.8 million in 2024 after inflation. It was originally called the Berry Center, and the full venue is made up of five facilities, the football stadium, an indoor arena, conference center, theater, and food distribution center. The stadium was meticulously crafted to host a crowd of 11,000 people, including private suites for VIP guests. It reflected the district's commitment to creating a premier venue for its athletes and the community. The press box houses modern broadcast tech, and the field has two large video boards that deliver real-time game updates and video replays, adding to the premium feel and excitement. For the comfort of its visitors, Sci Fair FCU Stadium features multiple concession stands and restaurant facilities thoughtfully placed to shorten wait times. The stadium also includes spacious locker rooms designed to accommodate both home and visiting teams equipped with the latest in athletic support technology. The name officially changed from Barry Center to Sci Fair FCU Stadium when the Sci Fair Federal Credit Union agreed to pay the Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District $1.5 million in a 10 year naming rights deal. The venue is a focal point for local events and a symbol of the district's dedication to excellence in education and athletics. And while the $124.8 million price tag may sound outrageous, it is nothing compared to this last stadium. Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium is the most expensive high school stadium in the United States. Located in Canton, Ohio, Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium is a centerpiece of the Pro Football Hall of Fame complex. It's also the home field for McKinley Senior High School's football team. It was originally constructed in the late 1930s with 15,000 seats. Back then, it was believed to be the largest high school stadium in the country, but it's gone through a lot of renovation over the years, ultimately bringing it up to NFL standards. Today, it seats 23,000 people and provides world-class hospitality and amenities, making it a standout destination for football fans. Five local Canton high schools have used the field for their games, but the venue isn't just a high school stadium. It hosts the annual NFL Hall of Fame game and was also the home field for Malone University and Walsh University's football teams for a while. The stadium was originally called Fawcett Stadium and replaced the former league field, where an old NFL team, the Canton Bulldogs, played before being sold in the 1920s. In 2017, the stadium was renamed Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium to honor Tom Benson, who was the former owner of the New Orleans Saints. Benson donated $11 million to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, with $10 million dedicated to renovating Fawcett Stadium and recouping the investments through stadium rentals. And the renovation of Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium was a big part of the $200 million construction project that marked phase one of the Hall of Fame Village expansion. Before the end of 2017, the stadium was fully constructed with the total cost adding up to $175.8 million when adjusted for inflation. Overall, the stadium is equipped with a permanent stage at the 50-yard line, 
NFL caliber press box, luxury suites with flat screen TVs, VIP lounges, and rooftop terraces. But I wanna know which of these stadiums is your favorite. And are you surprised at all that most of them are in Texas? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe for more on the business of sports.